Welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to tell you why I think that Order and Chaos Online's PvP system is flawed. Now, I don't want to make it look like I hate the PvP in Order and Chaos Online, because I really love the PvP in Order and Chaos Online. I think it's really fun, and there's a pretty large variety of maps. Um, there are not a lot of game modes, I think there's only one, or two, possibly. Um, I haven't played that much PvP though, so I don't know. But the maps are good, and uh, like the f it, I like playing the two v two game on the two S. I suppose that's what it's called. Uh, and the people you meet are for the most part very friendly. Uh, they they don't really call you a noob or something for dying, um, which people tend to do in Rank Castle Online generally. It's not like in Elder Scrolls Online where they say. GG and thanks for like the game or something but they're still pretty friendly now I think that the issue with the PvP system in Order and Chaos Online is the arena score system uh, and the arena gear that you can buy for honor points that you get from playing matches in the arena now an arena score system is not a problem on its own and it's I mean it's a, it's a good way to see who is the best or who has the best like um, teamwork I suppose because it's a lot about teamwork and um, doing a 2v2 in this game is pretty damn hard um, it's like it's it's a good system but the fact that there's gear that is tied to this system that's what I don't like um, the the different arenas, uh, the different arena seasons, have different gear, and now your arena score resets every season, but they don't make any. Like they've stopped updating the game, uh, potentially permanently. It's been two years since the last update, so I wouldn't ha uh, have my hopes up. Um, so you're going to be stuck with the rank that you have now, forever, which. Honestly, I don't find that to be a problem. If it weren't for the fact that some of the best gear in the game requires a high arena score in order to be unlocked. I think the Season 5, that's the latest season I think, gear requires a high arena score. And if like it's hard to find an arena match because the player base is so low. Um, and it's even harder to find a dungeon and the best arena gear is almost on par with the best dungeon gear and because you can't find a dungeon unless you are extremely lucky or have like a lot of connections uh, the arena is your best bet to get gear but if you're stuck on a really low arena score like I am you won't be able to buy this gear because it's, it's locked you need let's say if you want to buy a sword or something Let's say that requires an arena score of 1,400. Um, and you're at, at an arena score of 1,200. And let's say it costs 50,000 honor badges. And you have 250,000 honor badges. You will still not be able to buy that thing. Because you don't have enough arena score. So this limits people from getting... And it hinders them from getting the best gear in the game. Uh... And there's no real, it's not really a pay-to-win aspect because you can't really buy arena score. That it's not a currency. So my suggestion, if anyone from Game Loft or the in Chaos team uh, is watching this, is to remove the arena score requirements for arena gear. Like they can still cost honor points. I I love that system because it encourages you to play arena, even if you don't like arena. You you play it for the gear. That's what I do for the most part. Uh, but I think that they should remove the arena score requirements so that everyone can get them. Because sometimes you'll be unlucky and you'll find at, you'll have a teammate that's like using level 70 gear uh, and have like a gear score of 2000 or something. That has happened to me. And I kept ending up in the same team as him even though I left the team. I still ended up in his team because there weren't enough players. So my rank dropped from about 1,600 to 1,200. Um, so I'm unable to buy any form of arena gear. So 
there's really no point uh, in playing the arena for me as of right now, because I might screw it up even more. Or potentially I could increase it, but that's a gamble, and I don't want to gamble with the odds of that. So, um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about No Rank Chaos Online's PvP system. Uh, what do you think about it? What do you think about the arena score system? And uh, honor points and arena gear and stuff. Uh, and if you like this video, you can hit the dislike button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.